And by doing that, we have actually got a level up here. So we are going to level up. Um, oh, where, where are we? Um, oh, by here, of course. So Legatus and then Public Order. Morale in training, morale defense. That would be good. And that will do for now. And we're now going to send this army back to London. Get to it, men. Slightly helps the public order there. And we're going to be using you now at London to build up Soldier. from here. It's I think we can take Britain. All of it. Defend, not just defend it, but also prosper. We now have four armies here. It's looking a lot better in the north. Um, the mainland does worry me slightly. But we are starting to get into this campaign now and get a few victories under our belts. Colchester. What do we actually have at Colchester? What Can we actually build anything worthwhile? I don't think we can. We don't have the money this turn, do we? We only have 840 remaining in our current treasury. What about Boracum? I think it's the same here. Although in one turn we will have the auditorium. Which would help public order. But we absolutely need to hold this. We're going to be having a rebellion in a couple of turns anyway. So it's important that we get this army. As far north as possible. It's going to take him one more turn to get there. We need to hold out for that time basically. We're not going to be sallying out against him though. That's a certainty. Yeah we can't build anything can we? I don't want to abandon anything. That would just be foolish. We've got undeveloped land we can create it. Is it worth it at the moment? Probably not. I want to consolidate. So maybe we will actually recruit some more units. We're going to be recruiting some more spear units here. And Colchester can have one more spear unit there. Now what we're going to do is probably end turn. I'm happy enough with this. Let's just check our faction before we end turn. Our power is acceptable. And our emperor, Flavius Honorius Augustus... Where are you? Um, show details. So he's 50. General. He's the emperor, of course. Actually, I think you can swap some of these or something. I don't know. Um, zoom to location. Yeah, he's in Britain. He's actually My emperor's actually in the north of Britain at Deboracum, which is very brave of me and probably a bit foolish at the same time. I can actually hire some mercenary Nordic axe warriors. Let's have a look at them. They look pretty... Decent, I think. Uh, let's have a little look. Sea sickness. Shield wall. They can hide in forests. They scare everyone. Okay, we're going to get our first mercenary in that case. Because I believe we're going to have a battle very imminently at the Borkham. And we do all the defences we can get. At Britannia Inferior. We've got the rebellion down. That's one thing. Our food is bad. We need to get more food, don't we? So, the more farms that I can get in my empire, the better. Something I'm going to have to work on over the coming turns, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Okay, so let's end turn and see what happens. Fingers crossed we don't get wiped out. The Vandals are on their way. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so they are attacking us at Argentoratum. They are slightly weakened. Their first army's weakened, but their second army's full strength. Let's fight this battle then, lads. I shall see you all on the battlefield. Okay, guys. Welcome to the battlefield. And as you can see, we have the enemy lined up in front of us. Lots of bow units here. And I don't believe they have anything else. Now, they're going to have a reinforcing army, which we don't know where they are yet. And I think it's a good idea to probably do what I do usually with the cavalry. Their cavalry is weakened. They do have pikes that I've got to be wary of, but the rest of this I can probably charge into quite confidently. So let's go for a nice wide um, cavalry charge. We won't have loose space. We'll have a nice tight formation there. We have an, a tower that can support us. Now, our capture point is in the center here. And I want to be trying to defend this if possible. I'm going to put my medium melee troops actually here. They're going to be my last line of defense, basically. In this capture point area. But there. That seems like a good strategy I think. Now we do have some. Uh, barricades to use. Now I don't know where to put them. Do we put them at the street here? Stop them flanking in there. Force them down this street. It's a possibility. Could put it somewhere else maybe. 
think it's probably the best place to put it. We could put it here. Force them around. Seems like a decent idea. My bows can line up. Right, I got an idea. Let's put them into a loose formation. And let's do this properly. So let's get my... Right, let's get all of these. Get them out of the way. Get my bows. Get the bows lined up. Like so. With the, two, with the tower and the two bows firing onto them. The range, not too bad. It's, it's there more or less, isn't it? Let's just see. Yeah, we've got a nice range by here if they do try to come down this street. We'll do that with them. Now, we have heavy spears, but we need to line up in the streets, don't we? So, what we want to do here is line them up. One in the street here. We're actually going to group these up as well. And then the other one can go in the street this side. And I'm confident that we would have enough about us. i put them into a defensive testudo. We should have enough for just them. The remaining troops. We don't know where they're going to come from, do we? So we're probably just going to put them along here and start the battle. Now, where are they? Which flank are they coming from? Can't see at the moment. We need to find out where they are. Don't know where they are. I'm wary of being flanked. Shit. Let's get the cavalry out. I didn't know they had more cavalry. That's bad. Right away. We've taken some losses. That's bad. Right, where's the enemy to? Where's the reinforcements? They must all be up there. In that case. Got lots of cavalry chasing me. Well, I've taken the cavalry away. This is bad. Right. Plan B. Cohors charge. I've taken the cavalry on a wild goose chase. This has gone badly. Their general's weak though. So let's go for a charge on their general. Hopefully I won't get caught up by their cav. And hopefully I won't break by then. I think... Oh, shite. They are behind me. There are actually enemies behind me. We're going to have to ignore that for now though. Oh, this is going to be bad. Pikes. I'm in this defensive testudo, which hopefully will work. We're going to get a charge away on their general. Lost lots of cavalry. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We're reinforcing the front line with these men. That tower is going to do lots of damage for us. And this unit can actually reinforce my men there. They are bringing pikemen, so we're going to send this sword unit to reinforce that side. We're going to reinforce this side as well. Their cavalry is going to be taking lots of damage from that tower, as well as their archers. Now, I can't do much about all of this back shit. This back shit? This enemy coming from behind. The whole point is we need to defend this side as well. I can't be in two places at once. Let's pull one back and hopefully we can try and hold them for as long as humanly possible while the towers do some damage for me. Bring this spear unit back as well. And this sword unit can go up here as well. Right, we've got an idea. Bring the sword unit up there. We can perhaps contain some of them down the streets. They have a lot of cav, which I don't like. That tower got to do damage for me, though. They got Alani Horseman, which is bad. Right, I'm going to send this unit down here to reinforce. I want to use the spears on the Horseman. Get in there. Where's their general? The general's amongst these as well. This unit can actually go up here. No, they can't actually get in there. They actually have to go through down here where this tower is. This tower is going to be doing 
some damage for me, which it is doing, as you can see. It's taking some shots on the enemy. Now, I've brought some spearmen to the fold here. And I'm hoping they can do lots of damage. Big cluster there. These bow units being wasted there. Let's get them up here. They're not taking any shots. Not taking as enough shots, I should say. And we're doing much better in this siege defense this time. I'm, I'm quite... I'm fairly confident. I'm not going to say too much other than that. Now, my general's taking lots of losses. I'm going to pull him out and pull him back to the center. I'm going to pull this unit in instead. These bow units are going to come up here. They're sending more cavalry in. Form defensive testudo. Their general's nearly dead. He's only got 18 men remaining. Get the general up here. Send you down here. They're going to come for me now, I think. Take some shots. Precision shot. General can hold you as well. Oh, shit. I don't want to send my general into that, do I? They're going to take that tower, unfortunately. They, we're outflanked by the reinforcements. We've done a bad job, really, against these. We're holding them for as long as we can. I just wish their general would die. My generals are sitting duck here. Get him back. He can defend the capture area. Let's use flaming shot. Pull you back. Tower's been destroyed. Shit, you're going to be charging the rear. They've rallied. Send them all in. Attack the Axemen. Shit, this is bad. Getting shots away. You can use Flaming Shot as well. I need to get a lot more Spearmen, don't I? With only two units of Spearmen, it's going to be difficult. Pulling back my spear units onto the horses there. Lots of horses for us to take out. We routed one unit of Germanic levies. Oh, my general's gone. Fuck, we're going to lose this battle. We are going to lose the battle. We've been caught up in the streets and we're outflanked on either side. Kill the bloody general, come on. We are doing damage with those arrows, though. We're doing lots of damage with those fire arrows. We've killed half that horse unit with just the arrows. Not a bad tactic. We may have to get some more bows and do that tactic again, I think. It's worked fairly well in this battle. Yeah, it's working really well, that is. I'll experiment with this unit now. I know we're going to lose this battle. See if we can get a few volleys away in close range. If it'll let me... Um, it's not going very well, I don't think. I don't know. No, it didn't, didn't work on them. It worked better on the Cav. Men have regrouped. Men are regrouped, that's good. We've done very well. We're actually... Holy shit, we're killing the General, I think. We're not going to have enough men to do this. Send him more cavalry in. Home defensive Testudo men. Soak up as much damage as we can. Don't have any last line of defense, unfortunately. And the Axemen have finally caught up with my men. This is the unit which is regrouped. They can charge in now on the hop on the cavalry there. Oh, sweet Jesus, this is bad. 30 summation spears. The men are broken and running for their lives. We've held them up. We actually sent their general pack in, though. Only six remaining, which is good. Give them a bard back as well. 
And now my men start to flee. And of course they're going to take the capture point. We're going to be cha charged by the horsemen. And I think we have, yeah, we've we lost this, haven't we? I have to be honest though, that it was a decisive defeat. We have an achievement unlocked, which is Iron Resolve. We're going to end the battle there. That did feel much better. I felt more capable in that battle. And I think in the numbers game prevailed in the end. We've actually lost Argent Toratum. Our food is minus 36 now. Decisive defeat by the Vandals. Ah, oh, shite. It is in your eyes, in your stench. Our once you friends, the Franks, who helped us out in that previous battle, uh, in that naval battle against the Saxons, have now declared war on me for some reason. Even though they're already at war with the Saxons, so... That really mucks up my plan. So Britain, as you can see, all those navies have attacked me at Colchester. And we have a battle on our hands. And yeah, this is going to be awkward. It's going to be very awkward indeed. But I'm actually going to end this part here. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.